Day three of the Cabo del Rey here in Palma, and early morning preparations of all 117 boats were well underway as teams waited for the breeze to fill in. There was to be one coastal race for the IRCs, while the rest of the classes were scheduled to complete two races if the breeze allowed. The IRC Zero fleet included three Mini Maxis and one Bermudian sloop, making for some interesting comparisons during the competition. It was always going to be a close race between Shockwave and Allegra, and Shockwave managed to pull a good performance out of the bag, closing the gap between them and the leaders. An unlucky moment from Stig meant the team would be looking for a stronger performance later in the week. It's vital for the teams to get the best possible speed out of their boat, no matter what the conditions. This is where careful trimming and fine-tuning comes into play, as even small adjustments can mean big gains on the race course. In the IRC 52 fleet, Quantum Racing would score two bullets in a row, placing them at the top of the leaderboard, with a safe two-and-a-half-point lead from placed second ran at the end of the day. They chose to start at the committee boat end of the line in their first race, and it proved to be a good move as competitors starting at the pin end, including Spirit of Mallow and Six, lost precious meters as a result. The first up wind was a tricky one for all teams, with boats tacking a few too many times and losing precious seconds. All eyes were on the Alpha race course for the X35 class. Lel again, currently in second place overall, started on the pin end and were quick to gain momentum off the start line, putting themselves firmly in the lead. Team Red Electra de España didn't have the best start and were unable to recover, finishing the race in sixth place. However, finally scoring the bullet in the race was Margarita JS team after a strong performance despite the tricky conditions. Meanwhile, after two races from the J80 fleet, Team Turismo do Algava found themselves at the top of the leaderboard. In the ORC1 fleet, Rats on Fire continued their stable performance, putting them in the top spot on the overall leaderboard. Behind them, and with a gap of 12 points, is Group Clinico, who needn't be too worried about their position, as chasing them in third place is the French team of XLS, who would have to play catch-up to the tune of 14 points if they want to improve their standings. Finally, in the ORC2 class, Movistar came out on top yet again, scoring two more bullets and declaring themselves invincible in the process. There's still three days of racing left at the Copa del Rey Maffrey, and the best is yet to come as the teams jostle for position and fight for the win out on the water. Join us tomorrow for all of the action.